Sensory triggers in a school environment for autistic students. Let's go through them. School bell. Students talking. Students not talking when they're meant to talk. Teachers talking too loud. Teachers wearing too strong perfume or aftershave. Classrooms with those air fresheners in. The smell of dinner wafting up the stairs. The taste of the food at dinner time not being standard or normal in some way. Uh, the smell of the science rooms. The smell of the design and technology rooms. The sawdust. The sound of drills and, and band saws going in those rooms as well. Uh, the temperature, too hot, too cold. Going out into the playground, too cold, too hot, too bright. Um, going into a an assembly where there's too many people and you can hear all the people breathing and everyone's trying to be quiet and that somehow, that sound of kind of stifled breathing and stifled coughs just drilling into your head. Um, the sound of the uh, people on the bus in the morning, the crowded buses, the, um, the, 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 the fact that you're not allowed to undo your top button, the fact that you're not allowed to be untucked in your shirt, the fact that if you need to get changed for PE, you have to go into a loud, noisy, frightening environment you know the changing rooms um th there's so many sensory triggers that go on in a school on a daily basis that um it's it's amazing that any autistic student manages to to, to handle it you know it's absolutely incredible resilience really is